Hello everybody, I'm developer relations engineer David Jones Gilardi, and today I am super stoked to show you some cool new MCP features in the latest Langflow 1.4. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's my screen. Take a look at the left-hand side. I have a deployed version of Langflow. I'm going to host a fun game out of, and on the right-hand side is my cursor AI agent. Um, so my goal here is to go ahead and set up, I, I built a very simple Wordle game, if you remember the game Wordle, um, and I did it 100% in Langflow, right? And now with the new MCP server changes that I'm going to show you here in a moment, we can play that game very easily here in Cursor or with whatever AI agent that can talk to um, MCP. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Um, one of the big changes that comes here in 1.4 is the uh, regrouping or the kind of re-envisioning what used to be folders as projects. Now, why is that important? Because if you think about it, I know for me personally, if I take one of my other projects, I have many projects that have multiple flows and I don't want to expose all of them as MCP tools. Matter of fact, in this particular case, there's only one I want to expose as an MCP tool that acts as kind of like the interface for the rest. But in the previous version, what would happen is I would just get all of those tools, whether I wanted them or not. So the new structure kind of gives you direct control over what flows um, in a particular project you're going to expose as tools. So why don't we go ahead and look at our Wordle game. Um, notice here, I've got two flows. So one of them is going to be responsible for starting the game. The other one is going to handle when you're evaluating each one of the guesses, right? Now, notice up here, we have both flows and this MCP server tab. So this is a nice new change that is, is actually really nice because it gives you uh, a whole set of functionality that just wasn't there before. Um, notice one right out of the gate, you get your MCP server configuration. Um, so this is really important when you're say configuring something like cursor or Claude or whatever. If I come down to MCP and I wanna configure this, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my config. I'm going to make that a little smaller so we can see it. And you'll notice I have a set of MCP servers, but then this, notice this chunk right here that matches what we're seeing here. So this makes it very easy for me to just say, Hey, guess what? I want to expose this project as an MCP, you know, server with whatever tools I, you know, enable. And then I'm just going to copy this configuration command over into my cursor. Now notice I have one extra little parameter in my particular case, this generate API key. This is super important. If you're using a secure version of Langflow, you can set this up when you um, build your server. If you're doing it that way, it's, if I'm going to expose this to everybody, it's very important that it's secure. So what's really nice is now all I need to do is say generate API key. It'll put that right here into my command. I can literally copy the command. I'm going to come over here and just put this in place, paste it in. And now when I come over here, I'm going to refresh. Now you'll notice at first it says no tools available. Well, why is that? Well, because I need to add some actions. Remember, I've got some flows in my project, but I need to pick which ones I'm going to enable as tools. So I'm going to say add actions, and then I'm just going to pick them. I'll get out, come back over here, refresh, and boom. Now I have two tools that I have exposed as MCP tools directly out of Langflow. Um, now, again, imagine if I had a project that had a lot of flows, but I only really wanted to expose one or two of those. This gives me direct control. Not only that, if I go here to edit actions, I can change the uh, description and things like that, like right here out of the gate. And this is going to be what my downstream or my, I should say my upstream agent gets, right? So super important that you have control over here before you had to do this, like in the name, of the description, like in the flow, it, this just makes it a little more direct and, and really more focused on working directly with MCP tools. Okay, great. So why don't we go ahead and uh, let's go over here. We're going to go to my chat and let's just say, let's um using the tools, using your tools. How about using your tools? Let's play a Wordle game. Okay. Let's see what cursor does with this. Great. So notice what it's doing. It's immediately saying, Hey, I want to run Wordle start game. And it is determining that this upstream agent is determining which one of these tools makes sense given um, the description and such. Okay, great. So it has started a game. Now, what's interesting about this is if I go into this particular flow, and by the way, these flows end up being uh, actually quite simple. 
uh, in this particular case. I found that Claude 37 did a really nice job of generating those five letter words. Um, in particular, uh, I wanted to make sure that they were random so it wasn't the same word every time. You'll notice my temperature is very high. I wanted it to be very creative. Um, but if I take a look at the playground, now I just gave away the answer, which is okay. Um, you'll notice that for every interaction I have, I get one of these sessions. So um, what's happening is when I interact, when I call the tool or when the agent calls the tool, it starts that stateless section, does the thing, returns back the answer, and you go on. So let's say I'm going to say uh, build. And you know it, okay, so it used Wordle start game uh, for the first one, but now it's gonna use evaluate guess, right? And actually while that's doing that, I'm gonna pop over to evaluate guess and let's see what it does. Okay, my guess build, and then it gives me this nice little, kind of this little cute UI, right? Um, so it looks like I have one letter, but it's in the wrong position kind of thing. And then the same thing here, you'll see that I had some previous plays and such like that, but it's doing the same kind of thing where it is going to um, uh, it is going to you know create a session for every one of these, evaluate whatever it is, and then send it back. So let's see. Um, let's say um, I don't know how about crisp. Okay, it's going to evaluate the guess. Okay, so that time I got the right end letter, right? And you can see you know I'm kind of going through here now. One thing you can do um, it would be totally cheating. It wouldn't be any fun at all as you can open this up and actually see the response. Um, I think I'm going to do that here just for, uh, let's see, thump. Let's see, should hopefully go through. It's going to evaluate the guess. There we go. Woo! Yeah, I got it right. And with that, everybody, the improved MCP capabilities and the latest Langflow 1.4 make it easier than ever to expose your flows as MCP tools. We'd love to see what all of you create. And as usual, if you enjoy our content and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button so we can keep making more. Take care, everybody. Happy coding.